are back again. Troutdale's 42nd annual Summer Fest. And this year's uh, theme is One Community, Many Cultures. We're talking about all the different kinds of people who live in Troutdale and who have lived in Troutdale. We're happy to have them all here. My name is Sharon Nesbitt. I'm the town historian and Lord, I don't think I've missed a single summer fest. And this is my associate, Diane Castillo-White, who helps me do this. Hello, I'm uh, Diane, and um, I enjoy being a citizen of Troutdale. We have this lovely town with a glacier water in the Sandy River. So this is a unique town, and we're really looking forward to summer fest today. Welcome to the 42nd Annual Troutdale Summer Fest Parade. This year's theme is One Community, Many Cultures. We're starting it off with our police of our beloved city of Troutdale. <laughs> and followed by our presenting sponsor, which this year is Weston Kia, Buick, and GMC. Oh, look at that hot rig. Oh, that must be, they don't have that on the lot. I'd have bought that. <laughs> Today and we're gonna to be able to see one Kia, one Buick, and one GMC. They have provided us a bunch of cars for this year's parade. Following Kia, we have the Boy Scouts of American Troop 176. 174. These scouts meet every Tuesday night at Cape Auto Community Park in the Sam Cox Building. The boys are 11 to 18 years old and they encourage you to come and join them. And I believe our scout troop's well over 50 years old here. <laughs> and next one is a prize winner. Our best commercial entry will be the Rigert, or Rigert Elite Gymnastics. I'm not sure on the pronunciation of that. Here they come, all in green and black. And this would be the Lieutenant William Broughton Prize for the best parade, parade entry by a business or commercial organization. And it looks like they have, oh, they're going to stop and do things for us, goody. Okay, they are poised. Okay, you can't do that, can you? No, no, I can't. I'm not going to try. <laughs> That's a nice little guy. <laughs> Great fun. For winning That's the best commercial, we have three parade judges today Gloria Leite. Donna Irwin and Bill Flynn are the judges for today. And congratulations, Riggard Elite, for winning that award. And coming up next, our parade sponsor, which is Brasher's Auto Body. And, uh, oh, they're going to take that fire truck down to the park, and they have a Dalmatian fire dog to go with it. Why, why wouldn't you? And uh, they'll take pictures down at the park today during the festival. What year fire truck is that? So go on down and get your picture with that Dalmatian. Look at the look at the fire hose on the front of it, shut, pointing up into the air. That's really cool. Okay, coming up next, Troutdale Youth of the Year, Nicole Brown. Does much of her work with the Troutdale Lions, uh, Troutdale Police Department, Easter Egg Hunt, all of those things. Troutdale Youth of the Year, Nicole Brown. Look at her, isn't she cute? Following Nicole Brown, we have U.S. Bank, and they're also 
one of our year's entertainment sponsors. Thanks, U.S. Bank. And following that, we have our city council for Trout Day All. We have Mayor Doug Dows, Council President Norm Thomas is sitting in Fredo Restaurante de Popeo. And we have Dave Ritma, Glenn White, Councilor Rich Allen, Councilor Eric Anderson, Councilor John Wilson. They're joined today by Claude Cruz representing the West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce. That's the mayor Doug Dow. Thanks, right now. <laughs> and behind them, Love Mom Go Go. Silver and white marching band intergalactic freaks on a mission to band with music. Claim to have gotten some of their inspiration from Balkan brass bands. Aren't they beautiful? All silver and white. Yeah, they're not your typical marching band. They play only original music drawn from many influences, including Balkan brass bands. to the Crystal Ballroom. Love Bomb Go Go, Marching Band, Ignites the Love. I can see the driver now. We know it's the Love Bomb Go Go. <laughs> that's right. That's how I know. Very cool. All right. We have the Reynolds Youth Football Association. And here come the players and coaches from Reynolds Youth Football Association. It's made up of players in grades third to eighth. The boys and girls are welcome. The Raiders are already preparing for the 2014 season. After a very successful 2013 campaign, 2014 signups are happening now. With camps and other activities throughout the summer, come join the fun. They seem fit. Oh yeah, they are ready for another championship. Ah, uh, look at. And behind them. Coming right up, the City of Troutdale Recreation Program presents Camp Kaleidoscope in its 16th year. And we're really proud of this, that the city offers this recreation program for kids ages 4 to 7 and 7 to 12. It's a good thing for everybody to have something to do that summer, and they always come at their own float, which they have created. If you don't have a brochure, you can always pick one up at the City Hall in Troutdale here on this street. You can see what activities we have for your youth. Aren't they fun? Hi, kids. Representing all the nations. And behind them is Lori Monis Anderson, who is practicing what she preaches and walking the route. She is a nurse and a legislator. Behind her is the International Order of Job's Daughter, an outstanding character building organization for young women from all ages 11 to 20. And then who do we have here? Are these, uh... oh, guys, they look like cops, but I think they might be the Al Qaeda Shriners. Can you tell me if they're official or non official? Are we about to be arrested? I, you know what? I don't know what's going on. I, I don't see the big uh, poopa hat, so we'll... Okay. Oh, they're in uh, nice motorcycles in front of the other vehicles. Okay, I hear the calliope, so now we know it is the Al-Qaeda Shriners. And this is their mounted bike patrol crew. There they come. 
Their primary purpose is supporting the 22 Shrine Hospitals for Children operating throughout North America, specializing in orthopedic burns, spinal cord injury, and cleft lip and palate care, regardless of the ability to pay. And here come the guys on their little carts. Um. Oh, those first vehicles we saw were the motor escort unit of the Kawasaki police bikes. There they are in the little carts, and here comes the calliope. I love the calliope. Listen to this. The Shrine Shiners, of course, support the Shrine Hospital in Portland. They are part of the Masonic organization. We have a Masonic Lodge here in Trotdale. We have Milk Massage. They're lo located here on the historic highway. They're new to Troutdale. Uh, milk Massage is new in Troutdale? Yes, they've just been around this last year, so they want, they're inviting you to come and relax your body with an amazing oh. massage. Oh, here we come with the 1915 Model T Ford. Do you realize that car is 99 years old? Wow. 99 years old and still rolling. And behind and them, we have the Corbett Cheer Club. It's a K through eight spirit team that will strive to straighten school and community spirit while focusing on building self-esteem, awareness, teamwork, and strengthen in a fun learning environment. There they are. There's the cardinal, cardinal emblem. And there's the Corbett Cardinal. Who seems aggressive for a cardinal, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> we have Troutdale Parks Advisory Committee, and this is a group of all ages carrying a banner celebrating the fact that Troutdale has been a Tree City USA since 2000. Cities must meet requirements of the Arbor Day Foundation to qualify as a Tree City USA. So congratulations, Troutdale. And coming up behind them is the Troutdale Lions uh, float sponsored by George Moreland Plumbing. And aboard that is Trotdale Sam Cox, Humanitarian of the Year, Jorgen Shaw, who is manager of a Trotdale park housing complex here and makes it a family for everybody involved. And there she is, Jorgen Shaw. She spends countless hours preparing for this event and spends every weekend between Thanksgiving and Christmas standing alongside other volunteers their leader to collect toys for the citizens of our community, among other and volunteer next services. Is, is Diane McKeel riding the convertible? County Commissioner Diane McKeel. She's our representative here for Charlottesville for East County. And among her many things that she works for, she works towards fighting human trafficking and improving access to veteran services. Here's Reynolds Youth Soccer coming up. Yeah, they've been around for many years, and it provides recreational soccer for youth ages 4 to 14. And State Farm. I believe this State Farm is uh, Chris Anderson. That's a nice pickup truck. Very nice. And then, of course, the big guy coming up you see parading down your street almost every week. I do. And that's Trattnell's Waste Management, which is talking about recycling and putting waste to work. Oh, they have their cart drill team. 
Well, it looks like they're passing. That isn't garbage they've got in those carts. <laughs> they're passing out good stuff. Look at that. I told you they were putting waste to work. And they mentioned here they have some connection to the Paramount movie Transformers Age of in in Extinction. But the details are top secret. So to find out more, it's sane to check out the new Transformer movie. And then right behind the garbage truck, this is about recycling kids' clothes. This is the super sale, resale uh, for super kids resale, a giant kids' consignment happening September 25th and 28th in Gresham. You can put clothes on your kid really cheap, but it's going to be great. Yeah, over 100,000 amazing deals, and this event only happens once a year, so check it out. At Gresham Town Fair. Oh, come on. Look at this nice old truck. Oh, and this would be Jay Gelati, and that's located near our Troutdale Safeway. And that is owned by Glenn and Sally McKay. And they started the business in uh, 2012, and they have 20 fresh fruit-based flavors of Italian ice. So you should uh, check it out. It's all dairy-free, fat-free, and cholesterol-free. And a really nice old truck. <laughs> Here come the Cub Scouts. Pack 177, Treadmill Cub Scouts. They also meet at Glen Auto Park. And to prepare for this parade, they work hard to earn their Heritage Belt Loop Awards. Good job, guys. They're wearing their Heritage poster, di displaying their family's cultural backgrounds. Oh, that's interesting. So, <laughs> it's a American Oregon truck nail. Okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> American Oregonian Trutdale. Like, okay, I'm checking the origins of all these kids. <laughs> <laughs> and next we have U.S. World Class Taekwondo. They've been serving East County since 1988. They were named the best martial arts in, by Gresham Outlook. They're now accepting new students starting at age three. them is the Multnomah County Sheriff's Contingent. And, uh, huh, that's interesting. I didn't know. Uh, they have that badge that has Vista House on it. I didn't know they had that. And then it's followed by the Sheriff's Patrol boat, which is pretty darn uh, well used in the summertime. It's all shiny, of course, for the parade. And we seem to have clowns showing up. They, do you see clowns? And Tammy Arnold, who is the Can Fairview City Councilor, driving a Mer 2009 Mercedes SLK, running for elected office in the city of Fairview. Her two sons, Austin and Spencer, and husband, Jeff. And bouncing down the street. Who is that? Diana? That's Top Flight Gymnastics, and they're from our own town of Troutdale. Oh, that crowd likes these guys. They're doing good stuff. These kids love what they do, and it really shows. Gymnastics. <laughs> oh, 
it looks like we have somebody's holding up a sign saying two national qualifiers. So the regional and national ranking gymnast. And coming up after them in the red convertible, Councillor Shirley Craddock from Metro Council District 1. And I believe she is riding with uh, Chris Gorsuch, right? Oh, Chris Gorsuch. yes, she is. Representing Oregon House District 42. And that would mean that our next folks up are Taekwondo Gresham, world champion Taekwondo Gresham. that they stop us to entertain us, don't you think? <laughs> Very nice. And I think the mascot's new, or I haven't noticed him before. I notice how many flexible people there are in this parade. <laughs> and we have ending the, the group with uh, nunchucks or nunchucks. And the next one up is the Best Community Entry Award, and that's the Reynolds High School Thespians coming in costume for their next performance of A Little Shop of Horrors. Look at them, advertising their play, passing out flowers. A Little Shop of Horrors coming up. This is, you said the best community award, and that is named for Clara Latterell Larson, first woman mayor of Trotdale. And then, of course, Metro East Community Media, that's us, East County's community television station. They're celebrating 30 years. And they are followed by the Awana Club at Open Door Baptist Church. 30 years, Open Door Baptist Church has had an Awana Club. Ages are preschool to sixth grade, and all are welcome to participate in the weekly club on Wednesday nights. They average 140 children each week. And they're also hosting a vacation Bible school July 28 to August 1st from 9 to noon. It's open to children ages preschool to sixth grade. Uh, even little tiny guys strolling along there. It's good to have a stroller when you're in a parade. What's this one, Diane? Uh, this one's Cuddle Bugs, and that's a new retail store in downtown Chowdale. Children's newborn to eight years old will love this store, and you will too. I, I did get to go in that the other day, and it was a lovely store, and that's located at Celebrate Me Home on the third floor. So y'all should go check it out. Wonderful. And they are followed by Jeremy Holt, who seems to have an assortment of vintage vehicles. We're looking at a army truck carrying Major James Hoyt, U.S. Army, World War II. We're looking at a wonderful old 1950 International Harvester Cub tractor. A 1953 John Deere Model 50, and you can tell by the sound it makes. Isn't that cool? <laughs> but, 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 but. The farm all cub is very nice. And then this would be. This is uh, Salt Academy. They're Gresham Center for the Performing Arts. They're a faith-based studio focusing on dance, drama, music, voice, and art. And they accept all ages in their program. They seem to specialize in tutus. <laughs> and glitter. Oh, no, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that. 
pretty colorful skirts. And, and the pretty skirts. Culture dancing. Looks like they have it all there. Okay. Looks like we're going to be treated to a dance. Lovely. Oh, it's to the tune of a small world. Oh. I think they're keeping in with our Summerfest theme, one community, many cultures. Nice going, Salt Dance. <laughs> Looks like a fun place to be. And here comes the Mexican flag following that. And I don't know what that uh, Terry is that it's a it's a big motorcycle. It's followed by a very large motorcycle. And then comes the Beat Goes On marching band, ranging in age from 20s to 80s. It's an all-adult, international award-winning marching band committed to putting smiles on faces of its audiences. The band's known for its feel-good attitude, emphasis on audience interaction upon spontaneous street and on stage. Okay, look at that. Isn't that fun? I don't know how many of them there are, but they played for us before the parade. Our Metro East people are getting great shots of this band. It's very <laughs> fun. <laughs> she, uh, she's kidding me because she knows I've toned them. <laughs> That's one hit band. <laughs> okay, how cool. They are very nice. <laughs> and coming up behind them, Trottenell Historical Society Member of the Year, Helen Wand. Riding in a vintage uh, Mustang convertible. Of course, the Historical Society can always get a hold of vintage cars. Helen Wand is chairwoman of the fundraising committee for the Troutdale Historic Highway exhibit, which should be open to celebrate the 100th anniversary of this very road we're sitting on. Helen's from an old, old family up at Corbett. She learned to drive on the historic highway. And just so they're not left out, I think that lovely motorcycle with children was uh, Mary Kay Skincare Cosmetics by Michelle Austin. Okay, we just missed them. And next up, Apollo Drain and Rooter Service. We always need that every once in a while. And they got their trucks all washed and shiny for today. <laughs> They're egging the car on to throw candy. Technically, you're not supposed to throw candy from cars, but oh, it's a hard invitation. And uh, yet another entry from Apollo coming up. That's a seriously big truck. Oh, Apollo Drain has some nice rigs. 
And they had to wash them all for the parade. <laughs> and behind them, we have this is another big award winner, right? Oh, yes. The overall award, Pities in Pink, Multnomah County Animal Services. It's in response to the many pit bulls at the county shelter in Childdale. Most of the dogs are intelligent, loving, loyal family pets, but unfortunately, pit bulls can be the hardest dogs to place in new homes. Sometimes they have to wait many months to get a new home. The shelter realizes that dressing pit bulls up in pink tutu softens their image by helping people realize they're just as goofy and lovable as other dogs. So the whole thing is pink, and the dogs are in pink, and the people are in pink. And the idea is that to make the, the pit bulls more feminine, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we soften up their image. <laughs> Softening up their So you image. do not overlook their lovability. <laughs> <laughs> and that got the overall uh, parade prize for the entry. And look, it's got a pink doghouse and a little picket fence, and it does show considerable effort on the half of the behalf of pit bulls. I kind of like that. That's the Captain John Harlow prize. Behind them, the vendors for the parade, the picnic. Yes, every year the, we have many vendors at Glen Auto Park to sell their wares. I think it's till 4 o'clock today, so after uh, Summerfest Parade, you should go down and check it out. I think this year we have over 40 vendors to choose from with a wide variety of selections. And coming up behind them is East County's only premier soccer club, the East Side Timbers. Those aren't Timbers colors, those are red. Even I, oh, look at the size of the soccer ball. Okay, great. I can play with the ball that size. <laughs> Their programs include recreational, competitive, adult, rec leagues, camps and clinics, and top soccer. Wow, there they go. More flexible people. And following them, La Petite Academy, which is a children's daycare facility. And they all have matching t-shirts. <laughs> La Petite Academy. And then the Kiwanis. It's also about children this year, serving children of the world. And then we're advertising our Troutdale Cruise in Sunday, August 3rd. Nine to three, right here on this same street, and there's a nice car behind. Do we know what that car is? I'm an SS? 63. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the Malibu, 66 we got it. The Malibu, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty and shiny. Behind them, we have Reynolds, Oregon School Employees Association. Classified Employees Union. There are bus drivers, our cooks, our secretaries, educational assistants, custodians, and maintenance. Yeah, these are all the people who keep the school running. Remembering our school this year, because we have had difficult times. Then we have the Reynolds School District bus. The school district serves over 11,000 kids from Childhillwood Village, Fairview, Gresham, and Portland. They speak over 70 languages at home. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. 70 languages at our schools. Very interesting. The things they embrace is skills and technology, global literacy, creativity, critical thinking to enhance family, career, and community. 
And of course they had to wash all those school buses too. On all those nice hand prints on their banner. This one lists a lot of the different schools. We have Hartley, Reynolds High School, Davis, Cornerstone, Glenfair, Fairview, RLA West, Alder, Salish Ponds. A lot of schools in the Reynolds School District. One community, many cultures, once again, the parade theme. And then comes Gresham Fire. Serves our community. And while we're looking at our fire truck, we're just going to remind you that we have a lot of entertainment going on at Glen Auto Park today. So starting at 12, Love Bomb, Love Bomb Go Go, the awards at 1245, passing notes, 1 o'clock, U.S. Taekwondo, 140, 210, Sudden Tradition, band performing bluegrass, folk, old time, and original songs. Uh, lots, lots of band performances, lots of great stuff going on. We have one more entry here from Alliance Plumbing following Gresham Fire. Alliance Plumbing is new in town. They're in the old handy gas station. A uh, very tidy place and people uh, painted the old gas station in all a consistent color and our new neighbors in our community. We, we will be followed by first student buses provided by McMenamin's Edgefield for today and they will carry people to the park all day long for the rest of our festivities and if you want to climb aboard that bus and go down to the park you can be in the tail end of this parade and people might wave at you. In the park we have the kids fun zone, face painting, pony rides, climbing walls sponsored by the U.S. Army, oh this is called the birdhouse building sponsored by the Home Depot from 1 o'clock until the supplies are gone. Home Depot puts on some great crafts for the children, so check that out. Also, clowning by Hannah Banana and Friends, and cake walks. So there's a lot of awesome things to do at the Summerfest today, so Summerfest isn't over. So we encourage you to go down to Glen Auto Community Park and enjoy some of those events and entertainment. This has been the 42nd Annual Summerfest Parade, and we've just run out of parade. How, ni how nice to have you all here with us. Metro East Community Media, which will broadcast this on their channels. Please join us again next year. I'm Sharon Nesbitt. This is Diane Castillo-White, and we're so glad you came today and continue to enjoy our Summerfest today. And thank you to Metro East Community Media. <laughs>